Yoga is a hybrid of the great things about yoga, the breathing and the relaxation elements, but hybrided with biomechanics of sport movement and how athletes move and train. I was an athlete growing up. I was always playing every sport. I eventually got into marketing, and then while I was doing that, was in a car accident. I had a bunch of soft tissue damage, so I had to quit my job, and I was doing all sorts of rehab, going to physio. I was working with a singing teacher, and she started to notice all these implications in my diaphragm, and started to do all these different moves with me at the wall. And from all the rehab that I was doing, whatever she was doing was making me feel better. And so I was like, what is this? And she's like, it's yoga. I became curious about it, so I just started to do as much yoga as I could actually do. There was something that kept drawing me to the class in terms of like the relaxation and the breathing, but the part that I hated was the actual physical part of it because I couldn't do it. I'm your typical athlete, tight hips, tight hamstrings. And it was in Japan where I found a yoga class based on your actual DNA, and I was like, oh, this is interesting. And so like, I signed up on the spot, and that was the beginning of my yoga journey. I started to just teach everybody. And then the strength coach from the Stampeders football team called me and said, would you come teach the Calgary Stampeders yoga? And I was like, sure, why wouldn't I? I found myself taking postures that you see in yoga and making them into movements that were based on biomechanic of sports. So I just watched football and I was like, hey, they do this, they do that, and they're always moving. I got a job with the Argos. We started to have a lot of success. And all of a sudden, I was so busy, I couldn't keep up. So I started a certification program. And we had seven people sign up for the first one. And now we have 400 teachers. November 2016, I had just signed the lease for this space. I was kind of like at the top of my game. There was an opportunity to go down to train some athletes down in Dominican. On the way from the hotel to the airport, I remember looking up and seeing this huge cement truck right in front of us. I'm like, oh my God, this is it. It's life or death. And then it happened. <laughs> and I knew something was wrong with my back. They kept trying to pull me out of the car and I couldn't tell them because I couldn't speak their language. So it was scary. I just remember waking up in the hospital to learning that I had broken my back and then later found out that I have this brain injury, right? So all of it was just like a lot. So I was there for seven days in intensive care and then I eventually got back to Canada. As much as I, you know, needed therapy and I needed rehab, like I didn't stop working. I literally built the yoga house, you know, from my hospital bed. The whole like full circle thing of all of this is that I created yoga because I was introduced to yoga through an accident and then yoga saved me. I don't know if I'd be walking if I didn't have that core strength. Now that I have this second chance at life, I do this talk called Nothing is an Accident, and now I understand my purpose. I always think like everything happens for a reason. My goal is inspire other people to be accountable for your body, be accountable for your mind, because this is your gift.